All right, Frank Franz along with Matt Day one of SEC Media Days 2022. Greg Sankey spoke, Brian Kelly for the first time as an LSU coach. What do you think of it? Interesting. Like a lot of subtle jabs by Greg Sankey at the yeah. Big Ten. I thought that was interesting. Um, I think it's he made it very clear that the SEC is very comfortable with 16. Um, their presidents are, are you know, I wrote this a week ago, their presidents are very comfortable with 16. Unless something crazy happens, like uh, Notre Dame joining the Big Ten, I think they're set at 16. And I think Ryan Kelly's first day with the SEC in front of this carnival was phenomenal. I think he, he showed himself very well and he made a lot of nice a lot of nice moves. I have a different take on Sankey a little bit. They're comfortable with 16, but he didn't close the door. He said, we're going to listen. We're not doing anything. We're just going to listen and see where it all goes. I thought he was funny. There were some jabs. I thought he was... Uh, the thing that bothered him the most is NIL being controlled by various legislatures, not by the state. I think that was very clear. I thought Brian Kelly was great, loose, funny. He seemed, I believe, he fits more than I probably did before today. And I know you know Brian well, I know. Yeah. And I thought Lane Kiffin was kind of sedate. He was not the star. I thought he was. I thought anytime Lane should have become the star of the day, and he wasn't. He was kind of quiet. Wasn't he? Yeah, Lane's kind of grown a little bit. I don't think last year helped him. I also think honestly, Lane knows what he's got right now. He yeah. Quarterback, right? And this is a quarterback league. It's a quarterback sport. He does not have a quarterback right now. He's a little nervous. He's got his entire offense basically is full of transfer quarterbacks. So I think that's probably why you saw him a little more subdued. Lane Kiffin with Ryan, Ryan Kelly. You know, we mentioned this on your show. I don't. I, everybody always talks about the fit with Ryan Kelly. I don't see that as a fit because Nick Saban wasn't a fit with Ryan Kelly. Right. Right. And certainly Wes Miles wasn't a fit at LSU. So those guys were that. Was a fan, won a national title. I mean, if Brian Kelly goes in there and wins a national championship at LSU, and you've got four guys winning national championships in a matter of what, 20 years? What what does that say about that program as far as who wins national championships and how easy is it to win a national championship at specific programs? They're high on the list of that. Nick Saban tomorrow, bright and early at 9 o'clock, along with Vanderbilt, Mississippi State, and South Carolina in the afternoon. Four more teams. That is a wrap of day one of the NCC Media Days 2022.